I've had a lot of uh, I've had a lot of remarks made about me being a misogynist and being a chauvinist pig and being whatever it is. Uh, but in actual fact, I adore them. That's why they take the abuse that I give them. And if I make a comment that a woman should be, I was on a chat show in America, and I was on with Shelley Winters, who never keeps her mouth shut at all. Before I went on the show, the producers said, "Listen, she's probably going to talk all the time. So you know, tell her to be quiet if you want to." So I came on to the show. Russell Harty started to speak to me, and I and, and immediately Shelley Winters, I didn't just be, just sat down on the chair, started to speak. I said, "Madam, would you please be quiet? I paid you the courtesy of listening to you when I was in the green room just now. Would you please pay me the courtesy of being quiet while I'm talking? I mean, it seems to be fairly simple. I mean, forget the chauvinist pig bit." And so we went. She interrupted again. I told her to be quiet again. Then she had to leave, and she got off the show. She came back a minute later with a huge, great jug of bourbon and water. And I stood up, being a gentleman. She poured it straight <laughs> over my head, and I just got a brand new suit on. And I didn't know what to say, so I said absolutely nothing. I was a stiff upper lip, and the audience sort of started clapping and saying it was on her side. I sat, sat down and I said, uh, the one extraordinary thing about women's lip is that they're so, so very unpredictable. And the audience then laughed the other way. And I only got one letter in the States for, you know, saying that I was rude to her. What it was, of course, is, is a giggle. Is a, is a giggle. She's a, a showman, and I'm a showman, and that's our business. So, apart from the fact that you don't like women who talk too much and you don't like women who waste bourbon, mm. what are the essential qualities? Um, I don't think that I'm, I'm allowed to give away the secrets now because I love women that are thick, and I like women that are slim, and I like women that are fat, and I like people that are tall and women that are small. And I don't want to ostracize myself from one uh, party or another, because I don't know where I, I might get lucky. You strike me as the kind of man who enjoys every second of the day and night as well, I should think. Um, does the thought of growing old worry you? No. I think that people will begin to, uh, begin to listen to me, and then they'll begin to take me seriously. Um, and uh, uh, there can be nothing more amusing can there, than uh, having uh, p younger people listening to you, taking you seriously when your tongue is in your cheek all the time. But as long as you do it with a serious face, uh, then you can have a, a smile yourself. And it seems to me that if you have a long grey beard, people are going to be inclined to believe you. But um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to playing, you know, Father Christmas at Selfridges one year, because probably by that time nobody will want to employ me anyway. And so that, that'll be a giggle. Well, I reckon that'll be the day. But anyway, the very best of luck, and who knows, maybe we'll see you a resident here in Guernsey. Yes, one day. Again. Very kind. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Reed, thank you. Thank you.